inspiration, creativity, brainstorming. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Inspiration is usually associated with something mystical, something imaginative. In ancient Greece, inspiration was given by divine entities called muses, who were responsible to put perfect ideas into the artist's mind. Unfortunately, these entities only visit when they choose and not when we need them the most. But we can let them know that they are very welcome once they arrive. This is why it is so important to know and build your own creative process. We need to be ready and already have the creativity running within us for when the muse or the great idea hits. Everybody is different. We process data in different ways and we get creativity stimulated from different sources. Whether you are trying to make your video for a cooking channel or just creating videos for fun, you need to know what triggers your imagination. It can be images, music, reading, meditating, taking your dog for a walk, even talking to strangers. Literally anything can be a source of inspiration. And when I say inspiration, I don't just mean that you'll suddenly have the perfect idea for a whole movie by just walking your dog. I mean, it can happen, but you should put yourself first into the right mood for creation. For example, I get inspiration from looking at pictures of nature and by being surrounded by nature. Also by seeing other people's art. This usually gets me to the inner space of wanting to create. Once you are in the right mood, grab a piece of paper and a pen. You can also use your computer, but I strongly recommend you to use a piece of paper. It kind of has a little bit more freedom to it. Write the title of whatever project you're working on and start painting those ideas. Very rough and raw. Just write down anything and everything that comes to your mind. During this stage, it's very important not to be judgmental towards your ideas. Let them be. Even your most ridiculous ideas. One of the main reasons why we can't create is because we sometimes become too judgmental about ourselves. We are too harsh on ourselves and we let negativity take over. Once you have at least 20 ideas, take some time to filter and choose from all of those ideas. Only at this point does judgment become handy, but only after we allow ourselves to first imagine. It's important to filter ideas always through the lenses of the project's goal or main concept and to always remember who you're talking to. Now we can take our five best ideas and elaborate on them, make them more specific and then Finally, choose the best one. Paolo Picasso once said, inspiration exists, but it has to find you working. Hey. So that was about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and try Bitelip if you haven't done that already. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notification, and remember, you won't believe the videos that you can create.